I'm gonna be happy for like the next week. I have Ribena. I'm not superhuman. I do wish at times I was superhuman. That is some fat bird. Did he eat a pigeon or something? And this over here guys is the dripping tap which is driving me insane. I'm bored. Yeah, the man's bike is really squeaky. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was my first sneeze in a vlog. Ow, oh, rain. There's one yellow car there. A yellow car. Up. It's just one car. I don't even know why I'm, I'm so excited about a yellow car, but come on. Stop. Yeah, there you go. It's green. It's green. There's some pigeons coming to visit me. <laughs> Look, pigeons. <laughs> I can't be happy all the time. If you do see somebody upset, try to help them the best you can because you never know, they might need it and they just don't want to seem weak. Like I'm quite, I feel quite down. I might just go to bed. I have kind of like stopped someone from committing suicide. And it was the most hardest thing to do. It is not a good day. Remember, you're all worth it. And I love you. I have a feeling the end is near. I can't vlog anymore. I don't even know what to do anymore. I actually really don't know what to do anymore. Do you know when I said that I would never, ever, ever cry on camera? Well, this is it. This is me breaking my own promise. Anywho, 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 Lee. Anywho, 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 I totally whole wholeheartedly appreciate your support, like it means so much. I'm really sorry that I had to give up vlogging, but this is my way of like saying a final goodbye to you all. I'm gonna end this by reading one of the poems I've written. I thought it it'd be a nice way to finish. So here goes. Everyone keeps telling me it's more like a rap than a poem. So, whichever way this comes across, it's, you know, goodbye. I've been living a lie, goodbye. I made up this world of lies, no blue skies, twisting a spider's web, being left for dead, bled and bled till death do his part, evil intention of the heart. For you do not see the art of such violent words, sit there, cower, like the coward you are. We're far from bizarre, gonna give you another scar. Remember me always with the marks I leave, grieve, believe, I may deceive. Do not try to retrieve or thieve what are mine and not yours. You used to adore what I was, I never did adore you. We went through too many doors, we're now an eyesore, stuck in doors, count to four. It'll all be over before we've been living a lie. Walk away. Goodbye. Um, I watched quite a few of your vlogs and I found some really humorous, but also some were just very, very honest. Like that real, you're being really honest about where you're at at that time. How was that as an experience? To, did you, did you, were you conscious of what you were sharing when we were recording, or did it just come out? At the start, I said that I wouldn't do this, like I wouldn't get personal with it all. But then, as I carried on, I kind of realised that it's what people needed, it's what they most relate to, and then. Um, 
Yeah, once I got into it, I was really conscious about what I was talking about first, but then as I got into the blogging and as the time went on and I got more into talking about it, it just kind of all came out and it was a natural flow of me. And then I just thought, well, I'm going to put this, I'm going to be brave and I'm going to put it up on YouTube and people can like or dislike if they want, and, but I still put it out there so people know what's going on in my mind. And were the responses always positive? Or no. what were the kind of no. There was some really negative responses to um, a lot of things. I got a lot of hate, especially hate directed to me because I'm Muslim and female. Um, there were some people who were telling me that I was going to go to hell, um, which isn't very nice. Um, and then um, just, um, just really picking on me about what I was saying or how I was just presenting myself that I should have more shame and there's a should just be more private about my life but then I felt that that wasn't how I wanted to do it and if they thought that way then they could think that way and I replied back to them in a sense that explaining why I was doing this but then the hate carried on and then after a while I just thought do you know what let them hate they're giving me views and that's what counts at least they're watching what I'm saying and they're listening to what I'm saying it's the view that counts <laughs> um, but yeah, the views not it's not always been positive. That, but most of them have been positive, and then I've made so many new friends through the vlogging, and I've met other vloggers as well. And uh, yeah, have you met other young other young people in the Muslim community who do blog? Mm, um, I started vlogging because of somebody else that was vlogging, mm. and they currently just completed the challenge that was set to them, which was to vlog for a whole year. And yeah, I was going to plan to do this for my whole life, but it never turned out that way. Um, for the moment. Yes. <laughs> what was the question again? No, I was wondering if there were other young people from your community, from, your, for, from young Muslim women or young Muslim men who were particularly vlogging. Um, Muslim, um, Muslim women I don't know about because I, I found that I was the only one so far that I've found. But I know a lot of uh, Muslim women that do like tutorials and makeup and clothes and whatnot, but they weren't really vlogging, they were just teaching kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But um, Muslim male, there was um, Sid, and he's the one that's done the 365 days, yeah? Um, but he, um, he, how can I say, he used to be a Muslim, but he isn't anymore because of how. I don't know, he wants to be more free, so, but everyone, I respect him, even as a Muslim, I don't, it's his life, so he can do what he wants, and watching his journey was really, really inspiring, and there were times that he was really down, and then the vlogging started because I made a response to one of his videos, and he responded back saying, that's like, such a lovely thing to do, so, that's when I started vlogging, I thought, well, if I have the confidence to you know, like put myself out there for somebody that's felt this way and he's really kind of well known, then I can put myself out <coughs> there for other people as well. Any other questions? Yep. Do you think the negative comments ultimately helped in what you were doing because they were provoking discussion and also probably provoking people to defend you and your views and whatever it may be and ultimately made you a better person for it? Or would you go back and say, no one can post negative comments? No. I'd, I'd want the negative comments because, in a way, they encouraged me to vlog more. There was a point when I thought, I, I really don't want the hate, I'm going to give up vlogging. And then as soon as I put that out there, there were people going, no, don't stop vlogging, carry on, we need you. So then I thought, no, I'm just going to let this make me stronger instead of let it break me. And then I used the criticism to help me in a way and drive me and um, there were, I forgot my point, um, yeah but the negative comments I think after a while they realised that if I wasn't going to be put down by it then they were just going to leave me because they weren't getting to me, it's like bullying when you know if, if you know that if the, the bully knows that it's getting to their victim then they will carry on and if they know that it isn't then they will just leave them because they know that they're too strong for them to bully. Yep. Why did you stop? Um, my parents 
Um, I really didn't want to stop. Um, because of the community we kind of live in, people are very judgmental, and especially being Muslim and female, people, they, like, um, the privacy is valued quite a lot, and me doing this, being so public, and anybody being, being able to watch me was a scary kind of thing for my parents. And um, I, I, mean, I kind of stopped because I respect their views. And I want, I don't want to fall out with them, and that's really why. But I would have carried on if I could. Yeah. Thank you very much. Can you give us like a big round of applause?